grand final, ladies and gentlemen, of our GCS wild card qualifier. The winner of this best of three, not best of five, it's the best of three, will join seven other players on Saturday for the grand, uh, for the main qualifier. The prize of which will be to travel to Shanghai to the GCS Summer to compete against the best for the World Championship. And it's between TGW and Agent, both Russians, both humans, and both hungry for bigger competition, for bigger fish. Hewo just subscribed. Thank you very much, my man. Very weird build order, uh, or building placement, I should say, from TGW. By the way, this, this color, I, I have to quickly check out what this is called. This uh, I want to know. So as you guys know, with the new patch, 12 new colors got introduced by Blizzard. So this one should be wheat. Or is it peach? No, it should be wheat. A player's forces right. are under attack. It's actually an okay color, I think. Certainly better than coal. <laughs> Claws of a stack to start with for Agent, very nice. And over here the Claws as well. As is the case on any map that has a laboratory, it is being prioritized quickly in this matchup because of how important the Shadow Priests are. After that normally, um, players will be level, well they will be level 3. And then the decision is, do I move across to my opponent's base immediately, or do I go for the red camp? Before. If you go for the red camp and get a tome, um, a book of the dead, of course, that could uh, swing the tides of the game, if not uh, straight up win it for you. Are under attack. And here we go. No surprise here. No more creep route. Mercenaries are gonna get purchased. Shadow priests, berserkers. Agent's quite a bit faster with this. What's he waiting for? The one footman and militia, really? <laughs> Did you have to wait too long for that one? Maybe he was waiting for some money. Oh, T2 has already started! Oh, wow. That's a massive advantage. What's this base layout, though? It's so weird. There's a massive opening over here. And he's not getting the Berserker, because he doesn't have the money, because he's tier 2 Player rushing. Oh, Agent doesn't have it either. Oh, there it is. Okay. So here we go, finally gets level 3. He delayed it for a while. And I like that he's running back. He knows that he's slower than his opponent, so... Being aggressive now with fewer units as well, it wouldn't be worth it. I really like the opening here. Look at this, half a tech ahead. Damn, son. Bracers for both. One of the wind as well here. For agent. And this actually turns out to be an early game without anybody being aggressive towards the peasants. That's very rare. But big experience advantage, man. Ooh, baby. Is that worth the fast tech giving up an entire level? I don't know. It is gonna be nice, yes. And shop way in the back. Alright, doesn't want to lose that one. Lumber mill as well. He can make... One sanctum here, one sanctum here, Players or over here, I guess. Attack. Perfectly cut trees, actually. One of the wind. And nice surround on the Berserker, man. Well done. 
He's gonna lose... Oh. RTGW got this around, but he lost two footies for this. But that's worth it for a Berserker, I'd say. More Dispels. More Shadow Priests. A player's forces are under attack. Thirty-five against thirty-two supply here, but the Shadow Priest—that's the big deal. Goes to TGW. How did he get it though? He didn't have anything standing there. Maybe it's an old Shadow Priest. It must be an old one. Boots versus boots, by the way. Nobody's skipping it this time. He's trying for this round. Six seconds. Oh my God! He didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was not so good. Alchemist again. Gonna start off healing these footies right away. And his sanctums. Oh. They're not even gonna be that much faster. The one is already coming up, yes. But the tier two here is pretty much done. An agent keeps on creeping level five, four and a half already against three and a half. Oh my god. Heal spray. Gets the Archmage back to decent health. Oh, nice surround. That was really well done. That was really well done. Has to TP, of course. And Alchemist. Okay. The first time we see the Alchemist mirror here. And here are the two sanctums. So TGW really only got the one sanctum up a little bit faster, so that's gonna result in one priest faster. A player's force is under attack. I thought he was gonna have more of a tech advantage, like he was gonna gain more from that tech advantage. But I suppose not. So we're creeping here by the Alchemist. Without the Archmage, the damage is pretty low. A solo experience, of course, is very valuable. Zeppelin, even. All right. Mana stone. Oh my God! <clears throat> the dream. A player's forces are and he gets his own zeppelin here to get out of trouble should he need to. Telly staff in and heal spray and mass heal spray. Oh, nice save on the berserker on the two. Troll uh, priests actually. Really well done by Agent. But he can see above the trees here with his own Zeppelin. Archmage dropping low. He does have the acid bomb. Gives him a fight advantage. But the bigger army is still with TGW. Alchemist, the only melee hero that can attack air. As not everyone might know. Another Zeppelin is definitely gonna fall. Has to unload. Ooh, dude, unload. Oof. Okay, does it quickly. And now everything's super low. Uh oh. That's a big problem for TGW. Loses four units in the blink of an eye, and now the Archmage is in trouble. Oh no. Heal spray. If he walks into the heal spray, though, he may die. Priest has to heal him. Run, little Archmage. Dangerous moment, scary moment. Nice around, almost. This peasant is taking out this fire, dude. Oi. The last Zeppelin is gonna die. I heard a level up here somewhere. Level 4 for the AM for TGW. 38 supply for him against 39 for agents. Still very even. We may be able to take out the militia here. Which can make a difference, certainly. Heal spray again. Oh, he's surrounded again against the trees! So both Archmages had to use their TPs here. Being stuck in surrounds. Mud Golem comes in. Uh, might not make it out alive, though. Nope. Too much damage from the Archmage. Oh, an Ivory Tower. What? Well, 
He's close to level 5. TGW really, really is not. Vanna Stone. Gives him a lot more region here. Clarity as well. Mana stone consumed? I thought that was a clarity. Oh no. That, what a waste. The militia scared him so much. Maybe it actually was a misclick. I don't know. Anyways. Massive error. Gets an inbo here. And he's setting up towers in the back. Getting ready to expand here at some point, I guess. L5, though. Here we go. First one gets dispelled quickly, though. He has one, almost two more, however. Militia come in as well. Heal spray. Heals the priests in the back. The healers get healed. Everything gets healed. The two towers are up. Okay. They're gonna help out a lot, against, especially against the alchemist here. To limit his healing. And that's it. He's out of mana now. A little tiny bit of damage as well. More damage against the water elementals. So he's gonna expand here now. I really like these towers. It's like an anchor for him. A player's forces are under attack. Agent could just decide to expand himself. Could be doable. Ring plus three, actually good for the alchemist. This alchemist though, solo creeping. The big experience advantage still lies with agent. He's gonna get one or two more kills here. Pen of energy, oh yeah. That is really good. And it's just gonna expand here. Oh, and Zeppelin above the trees. 55 supply for agent, 46 only for the Great Wall. Not even his expo is coming up yet. Town is under siege. But this one will. A player's forces are under attack. No, Breaker, don't die! Alright, Breaker survives. Alchemist 4.5. Oh, are we gonna see Transmute again? That would be so awesome, dude. Priests are completely out of mana here for TGW. Or close to it, anyways. Oh, Archmage Harass. With that Zeppelin. And in we go. Oh, surrounded, but Zeppelin. Town is under siege. The rounds don't work. And this base, I like the towers, and they're gonna help. But, oh, the Archmage is he stuck. <sighs> I thought maybe he was gonna be stuck there. Three level five water elements. He retrained to Blizzard. That doesn't do anything against breakers, of course. And the priests, they don't have the mana required to deal with these water elementals. These water elementals are just way too sick, man. I know, so he has, also has the better heal wave. Heal spray. Nothing's dying. <laughs> Finally level 3. But no more mana. Not at the moment, anyways. Another water medal is available. There it is. Big damage again. Alright, heal spray. Does it work? Expo's finally up. 47 supply. 
for TGW. 64 for Agent. He needs to consolidate his forces and then... This could be very scary. A player's forces are under attack. Mana potions again. We've been seeing this a lot on the Alchemist. For so much more healing. Use it right away. And here we go. Can he crack these towers? Can TGW somehow hold on with these towers? Oh, Priest almost falls there. Water elementals give good experience, of course. And when the Archmage hits level 4, level 5, excuse me, Blizzard is going to become very painful. Oh, that's still pretty far away. Oh, Shredder Harass. That's pretty cool. That's also very expensive, though. Sick damage, though. And here we go again. Uh oh. Can he break through this? Uh, Shredder's dropping low over here. But I think TGW is holding this, right? He said 66 supply suddenly against 67. This is totally even. So what's better, the Blizzard or the Water Elementals? I don't know. Acid bomb into the peasants again. The Shredder here has been dealt with. Is someone getting upgrades? Agent is... Yes. TGW is not. Water mentals are dying, uh, at least, so more experience for this Archmage. And now there's a Mauler here. <laughs> Where'd the Shredder go? Oh, there he is. Alright, finally, Aiden breaks the contain here. It's gonna be an expensive loss here. This over mauler. Oh, but he saved it nicely. A town is under siege. Tell his staff on the alchemist. He would love to get some kills here. And he has the boots to chase him down as well. And he can t attack the zeppelin. But actually, nice saves here by TGW, keeping all of his harassment forces alive. A player's forces are under attack. Hmm. Someone taking? Yes. Agent is taking. Very good. Heck, must not with the army here. A player's forces are under attack. Right. Here we go. This fight is once again all over the place. Archmage in a bad position. He has one scroll of healing, by the way. Heal spray. Gets, uh, well, good healing done. Could surround the Archmage here, but he has a staff anyways. And he doesn't quite get it. I am very fast with those boots. Wow. The right click from feedback plus the acid spray is a lot of damage though. Oh, 
Level 5. Once again here the flute pressure continues but we have two breakers, two one upgrades. And he has the staff over there. Solo experience. Solo experience getting closer to six. Are you guys feeling the hype? <laughs> He's three upgrades ahead. How is he not just smashing these fights? Alchemist walking back once again. Oh, and here's the Paladino. Question is, does he even want to go knights? Considering the fact that TGW has Blizzard. Probably not. Probably just wants to go mortar teams. Here's a workshop. Mains expired. TGW going tier 3 himself. And mortar teams. forces are under attack oh blizzard harass that's really good he needs only one more kill one more kill for level five and he gets it nice tp home from agent staff home oh, and now these two armies without an archmage facing each other off oh baby Players' forces are under attack. Oh, Alchemist could get surrounded there. Is he, is he not trying to go for the surround? I guess he's over busy over here. I guess the AM had to TP out. Oh, level six. Mass teleport. Here we go. Coming in with the water elementals as well. So much more damage now. NTGW doesn't have a third hero yet. Heal spray. He's healing up his Archmage with this. Also pretty nice. Mortar teams now. On TGW's side. Good damage. 72 supply though against only 54. TGW took so much damage here. Finally, the upgrade's coming into play. He's not getting any more, but he is at 2 1 upgrades already. And that's it. GG. Game 1 goes to Agent. <clears throat> All right. I think I'm trying to see uh, what you guys are saying with uh, the human mirror meta being a little resident sleeper right now. More heals, Paladin reporting in, yep. Lots of heals and very little damage. I wonder like, are magic immune units like a poor design? I think it would have been better if like there were units which with a higher magic resistance but I think magic immunity in general is a bit of a problem mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
the fast tech looked pretty cool to me from TTW, but I think he just uh, fell away too far behind later on in experience because of it. Okie dokie. Map number two. Agent is one map away from winning this wildcard qualifier and participating with that win. Having the right to participate in the main qualifier on Saturday. Can you do it? Or will TGW have something to say about this? We haven't seen any Twisted yet today. Um, Terranus stand, I mean. Seems like nobody likes the new Terranus stand. Did we see Twisted? I don't think we saw Twisted either. No. But it are we certainly did see before. Archmages to start things off once again. Uh, is one of them gonna fast expand this time? Like Todd did here. And won that game as well. I still think it's. <laughs> still think it's a little greedy, a little risky. But I think these two are more, you know, standard players. I think we're gonna go into one base, gonna go into tier two, and gonna go into double alchemist, possibly again. Very weird scout positioning, I mean, farm positioning. Back here. Haven't seen this before. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, the watermelon got ensnared. That means uh, he's gonna take quite a bit of damage here. But he has the Shadow Priest to heal as well. Over here, watermelon got ensnared as well. And he lost a footy to the creeps. Ooh, that's a big mistake, Mr. Great Wall. But that can happen, I suppose. Robe versus Racers. The rope, the way better item here. Agent taking a bit of a lead here with the footy loss and the robe. And also faster with the creeping here. Thank you very much, Mr. Metal Matty D. Resubbing for two months. Good for your scouting once again. I like that. You want to know about the expansion, should there be one. Speaking of which, he's going to creep it. He's going to bring three peasants. He really doesn't have the lumber though. Like, bringing these three peasants, is that really worth it? Can you just crept this without the peasants? Let them harvest lumber? Or are they actually gonna set up the expo here? Nope, they're walking back home. And yeah, Agent was a lot faster to creep than his opponent was. Has very nice items. And he's gonna steal his opponent's Magi. Okay, pretty cool creep route. Once again, the water elemental ensnared. Whoops. A player's force is under attack. 
But with Defend, he doesn't even take too much damage here. And there's an expo expansion coming. He's gonna scout it, though. He's gonna scout it pretty fast. If this is Scroll of the Beast, this could be GG. It's not a scroll, but it's a greater mana. That's also really good. And he's gonna get a Footman here, possibly. Yes, definitely. And it's gonna get him close to level 4. Uh-oh. TGW is in trouble. Next footy and snare. Next footy killed. He can dispel the water elemental that's almost level 5. Level 4, I mean, of course. 1, 2, level 4. Oh, oh. TGW in trouble. Militia have to help him out here. Is that gonna be good enough, though? More Shadow Priests here coming in for Agent at the Merc Camp. The Berserker is still on cooldown. The Berserker, which he's almost gonna lose here. Telly Staff to get over to the Peasants. Expo's gonna finish, that's important. But still in trouble. Still in danger. GW's Archmage is coming home to defend, though. And gets level 4 himself. Okay. I thought it was going to be more scary. Once again, if these peasants had been attacked while it's constructing. Oh my god. I made the wrong fucking hell. Mm. You guys saw the wrong screen there for a while, I'm sorry. So, to catch you up, TGW expanded over here. And Agent was able to punish this, but not too hard, I don't think. Ooh, but he's gonna get level 5 here. Uh oh. There's two Shadow Priests here, but they don't have Dispel Mana right now. They're just healing each other. Bit of a circle jerk. Tier 2, almost done. Over here, of course, you can't think of tier 2. He has to defend his expansion still. Oh, but now he has to spell again. Gets rid of these water elements. It's more experience for him. Not many footies left. A lot of low HP units saved into the main here. Thank you very much, Gozu, for you. Yes, frozen screen, I'm sorry. That was my mistake, because I'm... Half falling asleep here. Sorry. Thank you, Bopele Camelador. That's a difficult name. For the sub, welcome. And thanks also for the bits from Explosive Runes. Yes, I apologize, guys. I didn't realize the screen was frozen. Getting more kills, dude. He's level five and a half. But here comes the mud golem. This could ser seriously be a game changer. Staff home though, and blood mage. Blood mage again. Like it was successful against Todd? Question mark. Q2 has... Oh, whoa! It's almost done. All right, Agent, Agent in trouble again. Under pressure, I should say. 37 supply only against 39 by the Blood Mage. Can he carry this game as hard as he did again? More mana. More Water Elementals. There is Dispel against them. But he needs three Dispels against these big boys. Oh, look at the damage. <laughs> three shots, tower dead. Yeah, I was late to react, guys, because we have stream delay, because of uh, serious competition and stuff. Blizzard again! To hold on once again. Mud Golem taken out, though. No slow to be worrying about footies in the peasant line. I really like that. If you want to deal with him, use Blizzard. He's killing his own peasants. Really nice. 
No more mining at the moment. Blood Mage getting more experience, getting more mana as well with a siphon. And ooh, the Blizzard though. Blizzard hits well. This Archmage is level 5. It's a lot of damage. Level 6 almost for this Archmage. Should be Brilliant Aura then, I think. Siphon. So nice against Blizzard, right? Because the AM will be standing still. So, he's gonna get sucked pretty dry. Ooh, that blizzard! Kills two of the footies. But here, more footies die as well. Alright, level six. What's he got? Seems like mass teleport again. Brilliant's aura only level two. But now Archmage out of mana. No blizzard at the moment. Blood Mage still with tons of mana. And he's close to level two. He's gonna have flame strike here as well. One more hit, two more hits for the ogre. Ogre survives. But the peasant's in trouble. He needs one or two more peasant kills for level two. That's the one. GG! That's it! The blood mage push once again successful. And that's agent winning again. 2-0 here. Congratulations to Agent. He is the winner of the wild card qualifier. And that finalizes.